thing. So I feel weird doing this because I haven't vlogged in ages. I did Vlogmas, um, but since then I haven't done a vlog, so I feel kind of weird. But I thought I would do like a week, uh, like vlogging for a week, whatever you call it, like a week in the life kind of thing. Because this week is actually, I'm actually doing some interesting things for once. Um, so I thought I'd do a vlog. Yay. I'm going to, today is Monday and I am going to Heim tonight, which I'm very excited about. My friend is actually getting to interview them and she got a plus one to go to the concert. So that's what I'm doing and I'm really excited because I really wanted to see them for ages, but they're always sold out. And then I'm going to Beyonce this week. Ah! Just can't even, we'll need to talk about that when the time comes because I'm just too excited to even think about it properly. And then it's like St. Patrick's weekend, so maybe there'll be something on. It's going to be a pretty fun week, I think. Um, so I thought I might do a little vloggy buggy. So right now I'm in a rush to go to Heim. Heim? Heim? I don't know how to say their name. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. So um, I'm wearing this dress. Um, it's actually, yeah, it's a dress, so um, this is connected. Um, I got this sent to me by a lovely company called Dresslink, and this stuff is so, so freaking cheap. I think this is like nine, ten dollars, and um, it's, it's like, I don't know what you'd call it. It's, it's like they've made it for shops, but they just haven't done any branding on them. It's weird. Um, so this is from Dresslink, and the only problem is it does, I don't think it's the most flattering because the way it kind of goes, boop. Um, like I think if it was like this, it would be more flattering. So I, maybe I'll figure out how to do that. But I still really like it. And then, oh, oh yeah, hardcore outfit vlogging right here. As you can see the mess of my room behind. But yeah, so I'm wearing leggings because my tights were just too see-throughy. I think this is just too short. Um, and then I have my, um, whatchamacallit, uh, River Island boots. I'll give you a close-up. Woo! Close up, zip on my leggings and zip on my boots and a hole in my leggings. Gorgeous. So yeah. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna get down before I fall and die. <sighs> so that's what's happening. I'm gonna have to do something with my hair because it is just like old curls that I do on Saturday night and it's now Monday, so I'm not looking too fresh. So I'm gonna do a quick little curl with my amazing InStyler curler, which I did a review on if you wanna see that. That is like three videos ago in the past. You can just have a look for that. And yeah, I'll see you in a while, bye. I literally ran so much for that dart and it's not you for another nine minutes. <laughs> what a waste of my energy. Weird because I'm wearing what I appear to be now in the camera, dirty leggings with my trench coat and these boots. And now that I look at it, it's not a very good combination. I don't know why, I think the leggings are really throwing me off here with the trench. I'm not, not really digging this look. I'm not digging it guys, I feel like a bit like a gross person. Crap, I hate when I go out in something and I don't like what it is, I just get really pissed off. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Does so everyone else get like that when they feel like they don't like what they're wearing? It's just like, right, I may as well head home. Let's go to bed. Don't like my clothes. I'm being a bit dramatic. I touched on this in my last like video. I said that I actually moved out. Um, so now I live like 20 minutes closer to Dublin city centre. I used to live like 40 minutes away. So now I live like 20 minutes away, which is actually really good. I'm really happy about that. That makes a huge difference in my life. So I live in Dunleary, which is like, um, what would you call it? I don't know why I'm saying what. It's like... I don't know, it's a coastal town, it's really nice, really pretty. Um, so yeah, if you're from Dunleary, hiya! Holla at your girl! Jane's interviewing Haim. So she's a bit stressed. She's doing her makeup. Maybe you could bring the camera in! <laughs> in 20 minutes. I'll insert the photo. It looks like the way you have the mirror, it's like it's shining the light on your face. Jane will tell the truth. What? Does this watch look ridiculous in this new time? Such a lesbian chain. Huh? Such a lesbian chain. Isn't it? Jane's, got, uh, yeah. Jane's about to interview Haim. She's nervous. You look like a fucking. What do you like your cigarette in your mouth? What are you going to ask them, Jane? It's marry me. <laughs> I'm in.
drinking pints out of a straw is okay, right? We met Heim. We met Heim. Insert picture here. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. They were so sound and the concert was so amazing and we are like high as kites now. High as kites. They were so, so, so good and so sound. Talking about, what are they talking about? Crackbird. Talking about Crackbird and laws and they were sound girls. It was possibly the best night of my life to date. And all in my 24 years. Oh. I never want to go home to bed. Too much excitement on a Monday evening is what I tell you. Oh, so it is Tuesday morning now and I am um, going to work. And I, yeah, I think I like, in case people are wondering, not that I don't think anyone would be, but I do work like from home and then I do one day in an office. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, but I think I like touched on this last night, but I don't know if, so, what else, if my footage was good, but oh my God, last night was amazing. Heim were just so good. They're literally such a good live band. They are just, on top of them being such good musicians and their music being so good, they were so nice. Um, so my friend Jane, who would have seen in last night's vlog, was interviewing them and then um, they, she got a little backstage pass and so we both went, th went in to meet them and I was actually like, oh god, this is kind of nervous, I don't know. And then I just, the minute I went into the room where they were, I was just, I just felt like I was with people, friends, like, they were so normal and so fucking funny and great and we only met, we only met them for like 10 minutes and I got a photo with them, which was what I wanted and like, luckily I don't look that bad in the photo. Usually when I'm uh, taking a photo with like um, somebody famous, I look absolutely horrendous. I remember I met Katy Perry one time and the photo of me and her is absolutely disgusting. So like I didn't want to use it anywhere. So luckily this one, it's okay. I think that's because Instagram is invented so I can put a little filter on my face. But yeah, so, oh, such a good night. I'm actually tired today, but um, yeah, it was great. And Beyonce is tomorrow. Oh, it's all go. It all happens in one week and then there's nothing for another week. So that's why I'm vlogging, I guess, to make it like my life is always this exciting, which it's not. But anyway, I'm going to work now, so bye. Okay, this looks absolutely disgusting, but I assure you it's not. We've got bacon, eggs, French toast, put some Philadelphia cheese on there just to make it even more bad and unhealthy. Oh yeah, I have got the curliest hair in all of the land. Look at this. We're talking ringlets. It's ridiculous. Hi. So it's like eight o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, so that means it's Beyonce day. Beyonce, y'all on your mouth, like lick. Um, no, I have to go to this like all day workshop, so I can't really get excited about Beyonce yet. And yeah, I'm just, I had to wear like respectable clothing to this thing. <laughs> So I couldn't wear like my Beyonce get up. So I have on my uh, white top top blouse, which is like nice and wide and kind of goes a bit longer at the back. If you see that, this is like um, a wool cardigan I got from Benetton just in case it's cold. I've got my um, Lee jeans on, and then this kind of doesn't go at all. But I've got my um, Roshi runs on because I'm. Um, to be on stage tonight because I want to be so comfortable that I didn't even want to have to bring up a pair of shoes and change into it. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm having my porridge, which is here. I I have in that um, gluten free porridge, soy milk, honey, and raisins, and some cinnamon. And then I'm watching as I sit here and eat my food. I'm watching uh, It's Judy's Time. I love watching. Um, vlogs while I eat my breakfast, it kind of like wakes me up for the day. And that's all that's happened. St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's a beautiful day. It's time, it's almost time for Beyonce. Beyonce, y'all, the mat like licka, like, like, licka, like, 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 licka, whoop. This is St. Patrick's Park, I think. Lovely cathedral. Lovely little day here in Dublin. Now, walking in the sun, walking in the sun. Oh yeah, really colourful too. 
Okay, so my worky thing is finished. Um, I'm just about to go to Dave's to do a few more little bits of work and then I'm going to Beyonce. It's a beautiful day and I'm wearing sunglasses and I love wearing sunglasses because I look 90% better than when I don't wear sunglasses. Lol. Sunglasses literally cover everything and make everyone look amazing, let's be honest. Love those moments where you're fiddling with your keys to open the door and then someone else is coming out and then you get to go in without using your keys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think I'm going to film the concert because I want to do not taking out my phone for the whole thing like I've done before in concerts. And anyway, my footage is not going to be like obviously any use. So you may as well, if you want to see Beyonce, just YouTube her concert and we'll see what she was like because I just don't think my little crappy camera is going to do her justice. I'll definitely take some photos though, but uh, <laughs> so excited. Obviously I'm going to go for a few drinks now because I mean, what else would you do for a concert? Except get tipsy! Yeah. No. Beyonce! Like, surfboard. Like, surfboard. Like, surfboard. Oh, grinding oh, on that. Wood and grinding on that. It's a video. Oh, is this yeah. for the vlog? So the boy. Say where you're going. We're going to be on safe. Ah. Surfboard. Surfboard. I love it. I think it's like a bad girl. What? I love drunk and I do love. I'm excited about getting my shiny glasses now. Why make an appointment? To get my eyes tested. Well, that was the best thing ever. I'm just coming back from Beyonce now and that was literally such a good concert. It was quite short, she only played for like an hour and a half, which I thought was, there's some sort of Last Supper grand. Um, she only played for like an hour and a half, which I thought was quite short, but uh, oh, so good. She's such an absolute amazing babe. I feel like, I feel like empowered as a woman. I think anyone who's seen her play is like, yeah, yeah, I have a vagina, I'm amazing, I'm the best thing that's ever existed. Oh, she's so good, and uh, gosh, she's so skinny. That's the only thing I noticed, is like, she's not curvy and voluptuous, she's fucking like a size six. She's so skinny, but amazing, what a babe, such a good show. Oh, I just am in such Beyonce all right now. So good, literally so good. I'm so tired and so hungry though, so I'm gonna go, bye. Hi guys, I'm tired. It is, um, Thursday and I just I'm tired. Beyonce was great and I'm exhausted now and I just did um filled up my car with food from Lidl. Really boring food. Because food is expensive. And now that I don't live at home anymore I'm beginning to realise that food is really expensive. Eating is expensive and it's stressful. Uh, and you're in the shopping market and supermarket I can't even speak and all the I don't have a list and I see all these women going around their lists and their babies and they're flipping doing a better job than I am and I'm like I don't know what I need to eat. What is food? What is life? Why am I starving? And Hello there. So it's uh what day is it? I'm so confused. It's Sunday now, Sunday night. Um it's a bank holiday here in Ireland, so because tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, that's 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 the day, in case you're wondering. Um I'm back in my family home now and I'm going out tonight here. And yeah, that's what's typically happening. I got some um, some packages I want to show y'all. I got some things I want to show you. I basically got a new pair of jeans from Topshop. This is them. Hold on. They are the Jamie jeans, but they have uh, the rips in the knees. And they're 61 euro in the Topshop in Dublin. And I got them online and got like a 10% off code. And it worked out that they were like, I got them for like 50. So that's a bargain. And also, Topshop sent me this really nice tote bag thing with my order which is mad I didn't even know I was getting this um, and it's a really nice pattern and really big and really sturdy with these nice handles on it so I was delighted about that um, also some of you may or may not know that I um, do some stuff for boots um, I'm like a beauty insider is what it's called so each month they send me some stuff and I make a video for them on it so here's some of the stuff I got I got um what is this St oh, a lot of the stuff is the 17 range which this is like um, some, what you call it, what the flip is this called? Instant Glow, like tan liquid, so this is for like your cheekbones and stuff. I got a really, really bright red lipstick, and as you can see here, I got um, the Super Lash Mascara, 
And I got these like um, eye crayon things, which like I'm not that into because look at the colour of that blue. Um, I don't think I'll be putting that on my eyes anytime soon. Um, but the black looks nice, so I'll have to give them a go. And then this is mad stuff. Hold on, I will just show you my face while I'm taking these out so you're not completely bored. Although, my face is pretty boring. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. They're basically like, oh, hey, weird. They're basically like a stamp. So as you can see here, here's like the blush and here's like the, the sponge. So you stamp it in there and then you stamp this on your face and it's like a blusher. And I also got it in a in a brown colour for bronzer. So I'm interested in, in, in trying that out. It looks like scarily Barbie pink, but it actually just comes out like a nice blush. Um, so they're kind of cute. I mean, I still don't know if it's something I would definitely use, but I think maybe for a younger kind of girl, it might be kind of fun to mess around with. Um, but yeah, so there are the goodies I got. I also got a 17 foundation and some number seven brushes, but I don't have them to hand. I got my friend a flawless jumper, flawless, for um, her birthday. And that arrived too. Where is it? Oh, it's here. And that arrived too. I actually got it on Etsy because it was much cheaper and they didn't have any left on the Beyonce website. So here it is, hold on. Wake up, flawless, want round flawless, and it's perfect, it's flawless, la 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 la, see what I did there? So yeah, I got that for her, and that arrived today on Etsy, and what else am I going to tell you? I just realised I have got makeup under my eyes, for this whole video, sorry about that guys, sorry about that, I'm obviously not going out with my face like this, because I don't have any makeup on, so yeah, obviously don't be like, Jesus Roshan, you're going out looking like that, no, I'll make me, I'll make myself look a bit more presentable. So I am wearing, um, this, well, this is my shirt from um, Watsuk Top Shop. I'm going to be tucking it in, but I'm just, yeah. And then my uh, Jamie jeans with the rips, as I showed you before. And then I just was looking for a bra and I couldn't find any here. So I found this bikini top of mine. And I think it's kind of cool under this because it's like, ooh, bando, ooh. Yeah, so that's what's happening. I was actually going to, like, the purpose of this vlog, this weekly vlog was to bring you up until, bring you up until tomorrow, which is St. Patrick's Day, but... Tomorrow I'm not really going to be doing anything I discovered, so I don't really think I'll have anything to show you then. So I think that I'm going to end my vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked this kind of thing. If you thought it was so boring, you can also let me know and I'll be sure not to do it again. But um, let me know if you like my vloggy style videos. I know it's weird because I didn't really have other people in it. Um, but anyway, leave me your feedback below and I would like to, to know what you think. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!